Do I like who I'm being? Do I like who it is that I'm being when I'm with this person? You hear the word toxic a lot. You hear it on the internet, you see it on TV, in about relationships. How would someone know if a person they're interested in, or worse, that they're in love with, is toxic to their life? Well, I think that word toxic is really evocative of something that's poisonous, that's terrible, that's just, mm -hmm. you know, deadly. So I think that if you're concerned as to whether or not your relationship or someone you're attracted to is toxic, you need to really sit back and look at yourself and say, am I able to truly live my life when I'm with this person or am I becoming somebody else? Because if you're becoming somebody else, you're killing who you really are and you can't, you can't be in a relationship like that. So that's who I think. Yeah, I would, I would follow that up by saying, if you're acting in a way that you don't respect, Oh, in a way that it brings out a part of you for in order for you to manage or be with this person mm -hmm. you have to act in a way that's not you and you don't respect or like that person you know that's when you that's a really good bad sign yeah um, but but if I had to say one word that predicts toxicity it's drama oh yeah I mean, oh, wow. drama yeah. and drama is you know it's one thing to have drama every now and then but to, to have a daily dose of it and never know, like walking on eggshells, never know when what the reaction is going to be. To me, that lack of emotional regulation is, you know, basically what we call it in, in literature and research. Lack of emotional regulation. A person who can't manage and choose how they act, regardless of how they're feeling. Mm -hmm. You can feel the feeling, but then can you choose to act? act in a way that's mature and kind and loving in the way that you would want to appear. That's right. That's right. Yep. It's that acting out thing that'll get you for sure. Maturity, the ability to manage frustration and not getting your way without all the acting out and holy cow, not the drama. But you know, I think there's another aspect to that too. And that is um, toxicity can sometimes just be a lack of skill set. Like specifically, mm. you can't problem solve. You can't, you're so interested in getting your own point met. You argue your points like attorneys instead of finding out what it is the other person is trying to say or what mm -hmm. you don't understand mm -hmm. about what the other person is trying to say, that can make a relationship really toxic when you're arguing all the darn time. But in the end, sometimes it's solved by relatively simple things like just learning how to problem solve and actually spend more time understanding instead of arguing. You know, well, I, I tell people just exactly dovetailing on what the two of you just said, I tell people just ask yourself a question. Do I like who I'm being? Do I like who it is that I'm being when I'm with this person? Um, is it, am I able to act in alignment with my core values when I'm with this person? If the answer is no, the person may not be toxic, but that dynamic is definitely toxic to who you are and who you want to be. Mm -hmm. um, and I think just negativity defined. So I think someone who is toxic is, they, they see the downside of everything. Mm -hmm. They're unable to see, and, they're, and if you're seeing the downside of everything, which you're not able to do then is support someone. So again, lack of support, all of these things go along with a relationship that is toxic. You're not getting that mutual support you need. Um, I, those are those to me are the most common. But I think something else interesting is when someone is toxic, I feel like they have the barometer that they have for themselves is what they feel should be the barometer with everybody else. So what their experience is, what their view of reality is, is imposed on everybody else. Mm -hmm. It's That's a barometer. That's the standard by which everyone else is judged. And I think... Judging is a big part of that because I think judgment with a capital J, when I think of toxicity, I think of being judged. Mm -hmm. Someone, you know, putting you down, judging you, and again, judging you according to what he or she, you know, views as reality. Mm -hmm. It's like a one black and white reality mm -hmm. for them. So it sounds like toxic relationships are ones that sort of kill your potential. They kill who you are on the inside, whether it's because it harms you to do it or two people come together and together they're explosive. So if you find yourself in one of these kinds of relationships, the core thing to take away from this video is it's time to get out.